What is up, guys? Let's just get the energy going here for a minute. Can you guys hear the music? I always have to, like, pump up some energy before I do these. He likes Iggy Azalea. It's an old school jam. Okay, so today, before I turn this off, let's get to the, the best part. I'm going to change your life, I'm going to change your life, I'm going to change your life, life. Okay, who wants to change your life, right? Let's change our lives here. Let's talk about the digital era. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Thanks for playing along with me here for a minute. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I actually crack myself up. I am a freaking comedian. Okay. Um, okay, so what we're going to talk about here today, um, if you guys have been following me, um, we're really getting diving into the whole like digital era and stuff. Um, and my last video did a real comparison between comp plans and stuff like that. I'm going to touch on that again today a little bit, but I really want to bring in a couple um, more slides here and really diversify my background in the digital space. Um, if you have been following me, then you know a little bit about me, but if you don't, um, I'll quickly give you a rundown. Hey, I'm Andrea Chalmers. Um, I am a digital marketer. I have actually been in marketing now for five years. I started off in network marketing. I've been in four different companies. Um, I've been in the online space. I've done e-commerce, um, more specifically drop shipping and Shopify. I, um, my very first store hit the top 3% in North America. So um, Shopify actually reached out to me to become a developer for them, which I still am today, but I'm not actively doing it. And I'm going to give you some reasons why I kind of left drop shipping behind for myself. Um, and I want to show you guys kind of like my experience in the online space. And like, if you're like me, the reason I got into doing this is first and foremost, I wanted time and financial freedom. I was working as a service advisor, service advisor in the automotive industry uh, for 11 years. It's high stress, high um, flow of people, lots of upset people all the time, right? When you're in the, like, if you don't know what service advisor is, like if you've ever taken your car into a dealership before and uh, for like a breakdown or whatever, I was the person who dealt with that kind of stuff. So um, I was sick and tired of it. And I worked alongside a lot of people that were inside that industry for a really long time. I worked beside people that were in their sixties and have been doing it for 40 years. Plus I've worked beside people that have actually passed away before they ever hit retirement. Like it was real, it was a real eye opener for me because what we call in the industry is we were lifers and that's not what I wanted for my life. I saw what my future looked like if I stayed there and I didn't want to do it. And I, I knew that there, there could be something more. I'm not super educated. I never graduated high school, but you know what? I knew how to use Facebook. I knew how to like search things on the internet. I knew how to go onto YouTube. I knew there had to be something else out there. So I made it my sole priority to check out as many options as possible and find out what aligned with me. And that's why I want to do this video because a lot of people are in this search right now, or maybe they're playing around doing certain things. Maybe they're in network marketing. Maybe they're trying e-commerce, trying drop shipping, um, direct sales, affiliate marketing, all that kind of stuff. I have a background in all of that. So I'm going to dive into some slides here. Um, and just really show you guys my journey of what I've done and why certain things didn't work for me in relevance to actually creating that dream life of having time and freedom. So um, bear with me here and I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna hopefully not screw it up. I'm gonna move that down. So right, move that down. We're going to expand, that didn't work. We're gonna expand that. We're gonna move actually. There we go. Good enough, right? Good enough. You guys can see it. Let's start off as always. I love to start off on a positive note and I really love this quote from Jen Sincero from You're a Badass at Making Money. If you guys have not read the book or listened to the Audible, I highly recommend it for everyone. It is such a money mindset changer and listen to it over and over and over again because for me, here we don't actually need these slides. I'll just scroll that down here. I'm pretty sure I'm confident I know what I'm going to talk about here. Okay. So let's all read it together. Our world now more than ever needs as many compassionate, creative, big hearted, conscious people to be as rich as possible so we can turn this mother around. 
I love to start off with this. It's such, such, sets such a positive note because I know 99% of people that actually pursue anything in this industry, especially in marketing, really have a strong vision for what they want for their future. Yes, a lot of people will say, I just want enough to um, quit my job, pay some extra bills. But we know like we're human beings. We have big dreams and maybe we don't tell them to people, but deep down, we want a better life for ourselves. We want to be able to travel, be able to say yes to things that we never thought we could say yes to, to be able to be, um, create a high impact in this, in, like, in the world where we can help people get themselves out of horrible situations. We want to be a, basically a shining light for people. And more importantly, beyond anything, we all deserve time and financial freedom. Now, this is huge because a lot of people have this misconception about um, financial freedom in particular. And I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. I had a really poor money mindset for a long time. I was raised um, to think money was kind of evil, right? My dad was a truck driver. He was gone uh, five days out of the week, every single week until I was 18 years old. Like I was already moved out of the house by the time he would was home and to this day he still works. He is 71 now and he's still working. And the thing is he wants to keep working because he never found some a passion and it's just something he wants to continue doing because he just he truly honestly believes that if he were to stop doing that, that he would um, die of boredom. <laughs> and it's sad because you know what? There's a lot of people that feel that way. And I, I don't wish that upon anybody, but if that's what makes him happy, then that makes me happy too. But that's not what I wanted for myself. And that's not what I want for the future generations of feeling that their only sole purpose is to be working a job. I want to create a, a life of impact, a create a life of abundance and a, create a life where people can look at me and say, Hey, you know what, because she did it, maybe I can do it too. And, and, and if I can help people actually come to that realization, then I did my job. So as for these money mindsets, right? Like people downplay what their real dreams are. Let's be honest here. Dreams cost money, right? Like time freedom costs money and we get um, so diluted in what money really means and money is really a flow of energy it's a transfer of of energy that we give out and we receive back it's money is not a paper bill of greed or whatever even though we do see that a lot in this world that is why we need people that are mentally there like mentally um have the right mental mindset to create greatness create truth create um just all of the good stuff, all of the good stuff that money can bring to us. It's not coming from, I want this Louis Vuitton bag because I want to show off to my friends just how much money I made. To me, that, that doesn't drive me in any way, shape or form. I want to show people that they can make money because money is a way of being able to create a better life for every single person in your life. So, um, if you don't agree with me on that, maybe read this book, watch the audible. Uh, or listen to the audible and then get back to me because having the right mon money mindset and marketing in general is key. Now I'm going to start with you guys um, with my biggest success that I had. And that was in the e-commerce specifically drop shipping. And so what happened when I was in, um, when I first had my first child, I have two now, my daughter was three months old and I decided to start a Shopify store. I went and took a bunch of training courses, spent a few thousand dollars and went and implemented it right off the bat. And I hit the freaking jackpot with it. <laughs> like I, it was overwhelming. It was cool. It was scary because I had a very poor money mindset at the time. And I was like, who the hell am I to be making this kind of money? Um, it was cool for a minute. And for some people, yes, this could be an avenue for you. I'm not going to try to steer you away, but I want to show you the pros and cons to this. Okay. So e-commerce and drop shipping. Um, please, I say this, don't judge me on my slides. 
I, this is not my expertise, but it's a great visual for people to look at and for me to remember what I was going to say without rambling on. So e-commerce and drop shipping. I was in Shopify, Shopify, not Amazon with Shopify. So yes, with, with Amazon, there's ways to really automate your entire business. Um, if you're willing to drop, um, like $30,000, people can automate it for you. I think it, it can be a great investment if you have the money to put up front and then the money to also keep it running on a monthly basis, because it does, it can be very expensive. And if you, if you're borderline not able to afford it, then don't do it because, um, the more you scale your business, the more money you need to be putting into it. So let's talk about Shopify and the drop shipping inside of there. So the pros to it is there's no recruiting. If you guys have been in network marketing, um, it can be very, very, very time consuming recruiting people and keeping people and building teams. So you don't actually have to do that with drop shipping. Yeah, there's no qualifications, right? Just like in network marketing, a lot of the times we need to have certain monthly qualifications that paid out a certain amount of money or whatever, right? Anybody can really get into drop shipping, into e-commerce and just kind of play around with it. You don't, yeah, like anybody can do it, right? <laughs> there's, there's no qualifications. You earn 100% of your commissions to an extent. So what I mean by that is you don't get paid out a, a portion, right? Whatever you make is what you make. Yes, you're going to get those fees and stuff like that, but you get 100% of it is yours, and then you have to divide it up to wh wherever it needs to go. Oh. Um, cheap startup costs. You can get started with Shopify for 29 bucks a month. If you're going really, really basic and you don't need any plugins or anything like that, you can start off with just that. Um, it does end up going up where it can cost you a few thousand dollars a month to maintain everything. Um, but essentially to start up a, a business, it's not very much. It's yeah, tw 29 bucks US a month. The cool thing about it is that you can leverage automation to a certain extent. There's obviously a human touch that is very much required in drop shipping. Um, but there is a lot of automation that you can implement and that is great. These are the pros of e-commerce. These are the main pros that I can think of that in my, from my experience with the business, um, what I found here's the cons. And I guys, I want you guys to really pay attention to this because it, it's, super important because a lot of people don't ever look at these kind of things. There's no leveraging of other people's efforts unless you're paying them, right? If you are building and scaling a business that is bringing in thousands of sales a month, if you're not hiring people to process those sales for you, you're doing it yourself. And this is what happened with me when I started, uh, the sales started flowing in massively. I was the one who had to process all the orders. It became very, very time consuming. I was, my daughter was very young at the time. Um, and I knew long term, this was a freaking no go. No, did not want to do this. I, this, I totally steer. This was one of the biggest reasons why it steered me away. And yes, I could hire staff and stuff like that, but I did not want to become a business owner in that sense. Me and my husband have already gone down the business owner, um, road. I'm not going to get into that. If anybody has started a business before that's super expensive. That's why so many people go into the online space because of the slow, low startup costs to be able to, um, really create um, freedom for yourself in, in a shorter, a very short amount of time versus doing a brick and mortar style. Um, so I'm not going to get into that. But so that was one of the really biggest reasons. So there's also cost of potential returns and lost shipping. This happens. <laughs> this happens a lot more than people are going to say. I'm in Canada. Um, so this actually happened a lot more for me when I was doing drop shipping and drop shipping majority of the time, a lot of people are using products from China. And what happens is sometimes um, or shipping can get lost and it can take way longer than the allotted time that you provided for the shipping time. And then it's, um, essentially those shipments get lost or they go way past the date and you're going to have to return the money to your customer. Hopefully you can get in contact with the supplier and maybe they'll help you out. But even still, it just becomes a headache, a freaking headache. The more you scale, the more time is required, is required for your business to run smoothly. 
this kind of goes with the other stuff I'm talking about here. The more sales you bring in, the more time it takes to make sure all everything is in line and working correctly because you are dealing with taxes. You are dealing with um, purchases. If you're dealing with PayPal and stuff, there's a lot of compliancy. There's a lot of compliancy within Shopify. Um, you always have to make sure all of this stuff is on like two point because um, essentially you can be audited, all of these kind of things, right? There's all of this kind of stuff. Um, high monthly marketing investment. If you want to make a if you really want to create a, a very profitable uh, drop shipping store, you are going to need a dump a lot of money into marketing. If you're selling products online specifically, it is nearly impossible to do it organically. If you don't know what organically is, organically is being able to bring in traffic without having to pay for any sort of um, marketing. So Facebook ads in general, Facebook ads is what I use to um, leverage my business and bring in majority of my customers. Yes, I was able to fortunately do some of it organically, but for being able to scale on a global um, basis, you need to be marketing um, globally and you need to be going through either Facebook ads, Google, YouTube, whatever your your niche is, there is always going to be um, a marketing investment, a monthly marketing investment. This industry or this industry, um, drop shipping, sales, right, with Amazon and all that, this is all extremely, extremely competitive. Whoever is willing to earn the lowest margins wins, right? Whoever has the lowest cost on their products is the person who's going to get the sale. And it's not always that case, but if you are new starting out and you want to get sales, the best way to actually get sales versus them going to Amazon and paying less is um, you being even lower, right? And so what happens is you're selling products at very low margin rates, plus you're going to need to market, plus all of your other fees that you have to pay with or pay for. So that comes in, brings into the payment processing fees, platform fees, plugin fees, etc. Each payment fee, depending if you're going through Shopify, PayPal, or whatever, is in and around 2.4 to 2.9 percent per purchase plus processing fees. So that's in and around 30 cents each process, each purchase. And if you're getting returns and stuff like that, then there that's additional and stuff like that on top of it. So there's so many factors in um, drop shipping that there's a lot of the times if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not a very uh, business savvy person, you can find yourself going in the hole quite significantly if you are running your margins too slow, running your marketing too high, um, scaling beyond what you are capable of doing. Um, so that's why I really want to share this with you guys because, uh, yes, I scaled a business quite largely in drop shipping, but I found really quickly this is not what I wanted to do. I had already had experience in network marketing and I really started to miss that atmosphere of having positive mindset, team building, uh, being able to leverage other people's um, efforts, right? All of the things that we really enjoy about that type of model. And I felt a massive detachment and I felt very lonely doing drop shipping. Now that I, with that being said, I'm, it's maybe for some people, absolutely. If you, like I said, if you are very business savvy and you can take the time to um, either hire staff or you have a lot of time on your hands or you're not looking for time freedom or anything like that, then this is it can be a really great model. But with that being said, I know majority of people, majority of people I talk to want time and financial freedom. That is why I am not super huge on drop shipping. If people want to try it out, learn it, make a few bucks here and there. I think that's amazing. Like everybody is open to trying things. I tried it. I enjoyed it. I enjoy building the stores. I just don't enjoy running the store. So <laughs> I really wanted to show that to you guys. So um, now let's go into network marketing, right? A lot of people are in network marketing nowadays. You see it all over social media. Um, here I go, clicking these buttons again. Okay, let's go I am into network marketing and let's base it on a $10,000 monthly goal. I just put $10,000 goal, but we're gonna put it on a $10,000 monthly goal. In traditional MLM, network marketing, whatever you wanna call it, um, 
let's say the average cost to buy in is about $500. Now with a lot of new models today, there's a lot of um, no startup fees, um, which for me, as soon as I see something that says no startup fee, I instantly know there's no money to be made. But for the purposes of this, I'm gonna keep it at the average is about 500 because essentially most people spend in and around there, maybe spent a little bit more, maybe spent a little bit less, but in and around there, right? So on a product that's $500, uh, the average uh, direct sale commission inside your network marketing is 20%. So that pays you about $100. Now, I know a lot of people are looking at this already and saying, you know what, there's so many variables with network marketing. There's all your team, your um, different, if you're in um, a leg based, lineage based um, um, comp plan, if you, uh, there's just so many different variables. There's so many companies now that have fucking 5,000 different ways to pay you out. And for me, that's just total, um, it just clouds over the real bare bones fundamentals of your comp plan. If you can't understand how much work you need to put into your business um, without anybody else putting in any work, then what do you really know about your comp plan? Because so many people get into network marketing and they have no idea how they're ever going to reach that $10,000 goal. And a lot of times people are banking on somebody else to be their winner, their rock star in their company or in, in their downline that's going to do it for them. So I'm going to keep it down to the fundamentals here of what work do you need to do? What work do you need to do if nobody else is doing any work? And yes, this comp plan um, is going to vary a little bit because if you are in a binary um, uh, comp plan, this is even going to be worse. <laughs> so let's just even, right? If, if, if anybody doesn't know what binary is, it's where you have one leg and another leg and you get paid out on the lower leg every time. So if you um, are putting sales on one side and the other side is a lot smaller, you get paid out on the smaller amount. So yes, this is going to vary a little bit because if you're in binary, that is a super crappy freaking comp plan. It's so annoying. I've been in it. I exploded a leg. I put hundreds of people in it. My downline put hundreds of people in it and my other lane or my other leg really lacked. And so a ton of my efforts were just fucking going down the drain and it was a piss off. So um, anyways, let's keep it at the fundamentals here, right? Cause a lot of, there's a lot of network marketing companies where you do get paid out on every direct sale. So I just going to keep it at that. Um, but do, do keep in mind, right? If you are in binary, this is not going to be completely relevant. It's going to be worse. <laughs> um, okay. So you want to earn a thousand dollars a month, right? I'm just going to take you 10 sales. That's pretty cool, right? A thousand bucks for 10 sales. That's not too bad. Everybody can use an extra thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars consistently making that, that can replace a lot of people's monthly incomes, right? If you're consistently making 30 sales a month, you could quit your job for, mo for, for the most part, right? Most people can um, if they're getting 30 sales in a month. Now, uh, if you are making, if you want to make $5,000 a month, you got to bring in 50 sales, $10,000 a month, a hundred sales. I don't know about you. I've never, ever, ever put through a hundred sales in one month directly ever. Sure. You might have a team of people doing that, but it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant because this will never stay constant if you're relying on your team. So let's just get to the, how, how this breaks down. With a closing rate of 10%, so one in 10 people that you talk to, I'm not talking about spamming through social media, sending them your comp plan, like, hey, check out this. Hey, I'm part of this business person that I haven't talked to in 30 years. You want to join? Like that, that, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about people you actually talk to, <laughs> talk to, and uh, uh, as a lead, somebody who could possibly be interested. So of one in 10 people, 10% 10 closing ratio, you need to pitch your business to a thousand people a month. Where's the time freedom in that? Where is that? You tell me. <laughs> I'm not talking to a thousand people a month. I can promise you that. And I wouldn't. I would, I would never talk to a thousand people in a month, even if I was hustling my fucking ass off, because that would mean I have zero, zero time freedom. You need to be closing three to four people every single day in your business. Now, this is insane. 
there's people, sure, if you're a top recruiter in your business, maybe you're closing three to four people a day, but I promise you, you're not, you don't have any, anything near um, time freedom. And if you got into this industry looking for time freedom, you are going to be in this constant hustle pretty much forever. Sure, this number is going to fluctuate a bit as you have your, as your team grows and stuff like that. But as your team grows, people also drop off, right? The average retention rate of, the, of an MLM distributor is 15 to 20% in the first year. More realistically, uh, within the first 90 days, if people are not making money, they quit. Now, right? Here's another truth. Over 95% of network marketers spend more money to stay in business than they do ever making money. Who's done this before? Who's been in a network marketing business where they're spending more money monthly to keep their, to stay active or whatever, right? Just to hopefully get some commissions out of it because I've done that. I'm not ashamed of it. I learned my lesson. So let's talk about why, why these numbers? Why? Why do so many people quit? Why do so many people steer away from network marketing? Well, here's why. Why so many people never achieve their MLM goals? <laughs> okay, so there's too many variables, right? We kind of talked about this. There's confusing comp plans. People see that there's uh, a thousand ways to earn commissions inside of their of a company, so they think that there's a there's thousands of dollars to be made. Well, not always necessarily, right? A lot of the times these ways of getting paid are just absolutely ridiculous. Like Sally on one of your legs uh, in your binary um, sells to Jane that has the, and they sell the exact same product and she has to purchase that product to get that product and then you get paid out. It's just like, what the fuck, right? Nobody can really, it's just, it's mind blowing that people think that these, because there's so many ways to get paid out, that it means that they're going to be getting paid more money. Because a lot of the times it's just very, there's a lot of unachievable um, ways to earn incomes. And yes, you can hit a lot of, the, uh, yes, you can hit these um, different variables in your comp plan, but it's not always likely that that's going to happen. And a lot of the times it's not a huge payout or it's a one-time payout. Stocking up on inventory. Now, I know a ton of people that have to do this because they have to ha send out samples and stuff like that, right? Monthly qualifications, and that goes for like having to have a point system where you have to be selling so much in order to, um, in order to receive your commissions. Who's done this? Who has had to have a certain amount of points in their downlines, in their binaries on either side, right? Maybe you didn't get them, get the points you needed on both sides and then you don't get paid out. Maintaining ranks, who, right? If you, okay, let's be really honest here. How many network marketing businesses have fast start commissions where people, um, build momentum in their first month, get, bring in every single or any person possible in their warm, hot and warm market, um, and then hit a decent rank, right? They're set. It's kind of like the, like gambling, right? <laughs> you, you get lucky at first and then it becomes an addiction where you're always chasing that first win. Um, so people can hit a really high rank and then they struggle to ever hit that rank again. I've been there too. I'm not, I'm totally honest with you guys here. I've struggled massively in network marketing to create my dreams. Um, expensive mandatory auto ships. Who has been in a business where there's mandatory auto ships? I have, I have. Um, the business or the company that I was with, the mandatory auto ship was about, uh, it was about $150 Canadian or $180 after shipping or whatever. It was just like, right, it adds up really quickly. People don't take these numbers in factor of like how much money they're actually having to put into their business versus what they're getting out. Lineage dependent. We've already really kind of talked about binary requirements. I'm not gonna get into that stuff too much. Um, but these are all reasons why people don't make the type of money that they think they're going to. What happens is when people get into these businesses, people recruit them on, um, the vision that they're going to be able to create their dream life. They're going to be able to have time and financial freedom when these people are um, chasing their goals completely blind. they have no idea what it actually takes to be able to create $10,000 in their business, $20,000 in their business monthly, all of this kind of stuff. And they're trying to recruit people on, um, 
on false beliefs because if you're looking at the numbers here, it is really fucking hard to consistently make $10,000 with these types of network marketing compensation plans. And um, if you do go and ask somebody inside these businesses, a lot of the times they have no idea how to um, confidently tell you how you can make $10,000 because they say there's too many variables. There's too many variables, what's the point? Okay, they should be able to give you at least an idea. And I'm gonna give you an, an idea, right? I think I already gave you an idea. You need to sell. Um, a hundred people sell to a hundred people, right? hundred sales make $10,000, right? So I kind of painted a picture here for you. Okay. So then also recruiting tactics, they're pooey, they're old, they're, they're so outdated. They become the, that annoying thing that people avoid, like the plague recruiting list of a hundred plus, right? Who's had a dream list of every single person they've ever met, their grade two teacher, their therapist, their um, swimming instructor, kids swim, swimming instructor, all this like ridiculousness, like, <laughs> oh my God, I've been there, done that, have people still have my phone number blocked because of it, cold messaging, who does this, who does this? Now, I can't say that I've done it because by the time I really got into the whole online space with network marketing, I, I knew better, but there's plenty of people out there and there's plenty of businesses out there and I'm not going to pinpoint any of them. I'm sure a lot of you guys know where a lot of these businesses or companies um, encourage people to send out messages and blah, blah, blah. Hosting parties. I did this. I can promise you I did this. I used to do them five nights a week. That's how bad I hustled. And and yes, for a little short period of time, I built a massive team, but I was the exception because 90% of the people inside my business had no desire to hustle. They were hoping for an easy way of, of earning incomes and that it would just kind of magically come to them because they fucking love their products. If you can, if you convince people that they love their products and they get in this weird, awkward trance that um, loving their products is going to be good enough for them to make a million dollars a year, a hundred thousand dollars a year, the, that is so far from the truth. People need to get their head out of their ass when it comes to their products. Yes, majority of products in network marketing are fucking amazing, but what's not amazing is a lot of these comp plans. Okay. Sending out samples, we talked about that, right? It costs money, right? You gotta send out samples. How many people actually buy the product from you? Um, constantly post about your product or service. Now you're being that annoying person on Facebook where people know that you are just trying to make some sales. Um, and it's not an effective way of doing it. It steers people away, you probably lose friends from it, um, right? I'm not gonna get into it too much. We know, we know prospect everywhere you go, been there, done that. I'm sure lots of people still do that. I'm sure they're still told to do that, right? Have you ever gone to the coffee shop and you're like, supposedly like eye somebody down and you're like, hey, you look like you could use an opportunity, right? <laughs> Boring um, and awkward. <laughs> Asking people to share your offer on their social media. I hate this. I hate it. Like, I the people I have dedicated to bring value to you want me to just go and put your stuff in front of them? No, because I don't even do that. I provide value, value. And if people want to like reach out to me and learn more, they come to me. So, no, if you're ever asking me to share your offer on social media, it's not going to happen. And I probably won't be super nice about it. I'll give you one chance. And then I will tell you, if you want to learn how to market properly, come and see me. <laughs> That's how I lose a lot of people. But you know what? It's the truth. If you don't want to learn how to be a digital marketer in the digital marketing era, what the hell are you doing marketing online? <sighs> okay. We are still... Did I just lose you guys? No. We're still going. We're still going. New share. Yeah, we're still there. Okay. 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 Let's talk about direct sales, right? Direct sales. We're going to go into that because we're going to go, we just talked about network marketing and how the network marketing models work. Now let's talk about direct sales. Traditional direct sales is where most of the time it's um, just you, <laughs> you, sorry, again for the slides, making a commission off of each person that you sign up. 
So there's no sort of team experience of any sort. It's completely through any sales that you do. Sometimes there are instances um, where it looks a little bit more like this. Now, uh, companies like, um, I did a, a lot of courses inside ClickFunnels and they have an affiliate commission base. So this is kind of direct sales, commission, whatever, right? But let's just use this. So you make the 20% off of your direct sales and then you are fortunate enough to make 10% off of any one or just off of the next line down. So if say you signed up Bob here and Bob signed up Jane, you would make 20% off of Bob and then you'd make 10% off of Jane. And then that's it, right? And then whatever, it just goes on and on. Now, what happens with this too, um, it creates um, no team, right? In direct sales, a lot of the times there's no sense of team or whatever. It creates bad money behaviors because everybody's being very greedy. They want the sales for themselves. They want the higher commission. So I don't like direct sales in that sense because I am all about creating teams, creating empowerment, impact, all of that kind of stuff. This is a, a model that I am just not a big fan of. Yes, there is times where the commissions are higher. We could even say it's 50%. That's why a lot of people do like direct sales because there is the opportunity to have a higher commission. But with that being said, um, you are putting in all of the work, right? If it's a higher commission, it's going to look more like this and you would be making a, pro a higher commission if you, if the company is an amazing company. Now there is a model out there that a lot of people don't know about. And this is what I really want to share with you guys, because this for me and my experience in the online space is the absolute it's like breaking the code of actual time and financial freedom if you like network marketing if you want want to create time and financial freedom and you are sick and tired of hustling um all of that kind of stuff this is a model that i highly recommend you looking into and it's basically a hybrid plan a comp plan in between sorry these things just keep popping up here um it's a hybrid in between network marketing and direct sales so what does that look like, right? Why high ticket hybrid comp plans work? So we're not talking about um, making a couple bucks here and there, right? A lot of the times with our products that we sell, we make 20 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever, right? We don't make a whole lot of money. So that means we need to make a whole ton of sales or a whole ton of recruits in order to, uh, to make more money. So the really cool thing about high ticket hybrid comp plans and one specifically that i have found to be the best one out there um there's no d ranking there's no auto shipping there's no monthly qualifications there's no stocking up on product there's no cold messaging or spamming uh no sending out samples no complicated comp plans no duplication of bad behaviors kind of like what we talked about with the direct sales and that goes into network marketing as well right um inside of recruiting if we're, we're teaching people to do all these really bad behaviors in marketing that is bad behavior and then you're teaching the next people down the same things that just don't work anymore like yes maybe jim Rohn taught this back in the 70s but like we're in 2020 like like we're in a digital era where there's a, there's different ways of <laughs> creating freedom like network marketing was a great option back when uh, there wasn't the internet, right? And people like, and now that they see the internet, they think that cold messaging is a way of marketing or posting uh, products online is a way of marketing, but really it's not. And it's not effective, right? Like marketing is a skill set. There's strategies to it. Um, oh, sorry, team, team from around the world. Okay, so where were we? No complicated comp plans, no bad behaviors, whatever. No binary requirements. It's amazing. All right. Clarity on how to achieve your goals. And this is something I stress about a lot. If you guys know me, you know that I love to go through people's comp plans so that I can know 100% where people are at because a lot of people don't take the time to know their comp plan. So you know what? Know your competition, right? I am so open to knowing other people's comp plans, not because I want to join another comp plan if but should another one ever come out there then i know and i can make an educated decision right this is all about being educated this is a business um 
So if somebody comes to me and wants to know how they can make $10,000 in their business without having anybody else um, helping them or whatever, say nobody else in their team is doing anything, I can give them that number. And I'm actually going to give you that number just a minute here. Empowering mentorship. When we have high ticket sales and where people are making high ticket commissions, anywhere between a couple hundred to a few thousand dollars per sale, we are able to really um, invest in ourselves. And, and in a very empowering and impactful way where we can actually pour that into our downlines and um, be able to create amazing mentorship and amazing leaders. And that is where a lot of people inside of network marketing are going these days. People are starting to hear about these models a lot more and they're placing their value in the high ticket because what happens is somebody, say they're a high recruiter, they're an amazing asset to the business, but they're only making $10,000 a month where they could come into a high ticket comp plan and start making $60,000 a month, right? Like you got to put a value on yourself. And that goes again with the products. People put themselves completely blind to the love of their product that they don't ever take the time to see what else is out there. Legacy residuals. So this means having monthly bonuses for life, no requirements, anything like that. Once you hit um, something, once you hit a rank, once it's there forever, leverage your margins to generate and attract your perfect leads. Not everybody needs to do this, right? Um, but it's an amazing way that if you are not, um, if you don't want to do the organic way and pump out tons and tons of content all the time, you want to be able to run ads and have them go out to the entire world. We can do that because the margins are so high that we have the ability to set higher marketing budgets. Um, abundant team culture, again, goes with like the mentorship and everything. We have that ability to create amazing culture inside of our teams because people are living abundantly. They're, being, they're able to actually manifest their dreams, bring their husbands home, come home from work, go travel the world, um, give back to um, their communities and give back to charities and start charities, whatever, right? It gives you whatever your vision is of absolute dream life, freedom, it's, a, it's available. Um, in these models. Learn the skills and strategies required for long-term success. This is so important. People think that by, um, right, no, that marketing is something just that super chatty people are really good at. No, there's skills and strategies to it. So it's really something that anybody can do, but you need to learn the skills and you need to implement them. Duplication of good behaviors. All of this creates um, a very positive impact on your teams because everybody's winning massively um, as long as they're putting in the work. I'm not going to make like any sort of income claims here. So don't worry about that. But that creates massive empowerment. It creates very strong leaders in your team because they have that ability to invest in themselves and they have the time to actually have freedom. They're not in that constant stress of hustling. Oh, I'm losing my voice. We're almost done here though. Okay. So I just want to show this to you. I just want to give you guys an idea of the comp plan that I use that I think is freaking amazing. And it is an amazing vehicle for anybody that has big dreams and wants to be able to reach them, um, without putting themselves in absolute chaos of stress and, and, um, the confusion of comp plans and of trying to reach them and stuff. So this is the hybrid plan that I use. So I'm using the smaller ranking of this. Now there's different variables of what you can come in. You can come in for less than 5,000 um, on the products um, and you can go in as high as about $10,000. But I'm gonna use the average here and the lower end of 5,000, right? This is high ticket sales. And I promise you this product is freaking amazing. I'm not even gonna get into it in this, in this video. I just wanna talk about the comp plans. So, oh, I press this button. So what happens here? Um, if somebody ever were to ask me, how would I make $10,000 right off the get-go? I could easily tell them. It would take 14 sales of someone purchasing for $5,000 from the start of the comp plan to reach $10,000 commission. And then it goes down. So let me quickly show you this. Your first two sales, if you're, just, um, if you're doing it through the $5,000 investment, your first two sales, you make $340 each. So $680. And then you move up in your ranking forever, right? Once you've done it, you never have to re-rank again. You're there forever. So now you're in 2A. 
So your first, now your three to 10 sales are $680 until you've reached your 10th sale. And then you rank up into 3A forever. You never de-rank again. So every single sale you're making 1,020. And then it goes up. So I'm not gonna read them all off. I'm losing my voice, oh my God. So basically what happens here is once you hit over 101 sales, it takes you about five sales to reach $10,000, right? Pretty freaking cool. And now the coolest part about this, are you guys ready? Are you ready? I need a minute for my voice to come back. Just think about this, five sales a month for $10,000. <sighs> it's such a changer from having to make 100 sales a month for $10,000, right? Let's just quickly go back to this. You need to make um, 100 sales a month to reach $10,000 or five sales a month to reach $10,000. Yes, at the beginning, you got you to gotta work, you got to hustle a bit, but right, you know that the hustle is not going to have to be there forever. Now, here's the real, the real kicker. This isn't a direct sales only model. This is just like network marketing. So what happens here is those five sales don't necessarily just have to come from you. Now, so when, when you sign up somebody into your 1A, you make 340 off of that person and then 340 off of that person. But then you also make 340 off of that the person they say, this is Sally here, and she signs up Jim, John, and I don't know, that's a girl, Jamie, John, Peter, right? You make $340 off of those people. But it actually goes down six points. So you're making all the way down. So here's a better picture here. Now you're in the 2A lane and John comes in. And John signs up Mark and Ryan. Now you make $680 off of each of those people. Now Ryan goes and sells to um, Matt. And now you make another $680. And now Matt goes and sells to Troy. And you make another $680. And it goes on and on, six points down. And it goes like that <laughs> inside the comp plan. So you can see how quickly people make a lot of money in these comp plans right? Just with a $5,000 investment, you go back and you look at all of these variables of what you need to do, all the requirements, all the chaos, all the headache, uh, all the auto shipments, $5,000 can actually rack up really quickly inside of network marketing for you to spend three to five, 10 years to learn that you are not ever going to achieve those financial goals that you wanted to reach, where you can come into something like this, and yes, it takes work. Yes, you need to learn the skills and strategies of it. But essentially, making a sale that's a high ticket sale and a low ticket sale is the exact same effort. You still need to talk to people. Um, what the cool thing about this is, is when you are recruiting people, you're not recruiting on um, quantity. You're recruiting on quality because the people that actually have a business mindset and understand how uh, money works and how investments work and see just how much return there can be on uh, an account plan like this, you get the right people. You're not getting the people that are coming in just to dick around and try it out and hopefully they get enough, they earn enough money just to pay for their product or they're going to give it a shot because they, somebody who recruited them told them that they're going to make $20,000 in their first month because it's super easy, right? You get these like people in fantasy land coming in thinking they're going to make a ton of money with these low ticket offers. And a lot of the times people stay in these, these um, businesses forever because they're so blind of their products and they're so invested with um, just staying inside of their business that they never take the time to venture and look at other things. And that's why I wanted to share with you guys that I have done it. I've done it all. <laughs> and I, I was open to it because I needed to find alignment. I have two kids now. I have a two and a half year old and a 10 month old. And the last thing I wanted to be doing for the next 10, 15, 20 years is being in hustle mode or working myself like a dog in drop shipping um, or hiring a ton of staff that I have to manage. I don't want to do that. Those are not, that's not time and financial freedom to me. Um, it had to be in absolute alignment with what I was looking for, for my future, for my family, and for the people that I want to bring into my team. I want those, the people inside my team to have this, the same type of vision, that they want to create absolute abundance in their lives, and they want to empower and impact their downlines and be completely truthful about what kind of money they can make if they put in the effort, right? FTC disclaimer, um, some people will make no money at this at all. 
if you don't put any work into it, you're not going to make any money. It's like fucking given, right? If you've been in network marketing and you've recruited um, and you've brought people in and you have any experience building a team at all, um, you would have no problem at this, right? It's essentially the same thing. You've already learned a lot of very valuable tools and skills and whatever, but you get to throw away all the shit that it's like nobody likes to do, nobody wants to do, and the things that steer people away because this is attractive. When you go and see people inside the online space now, there's a lot of people that you wouldn't even know that are leveraging this behind the scenes because what a lot of people do with these comp plans is they do what's called personal branding or lifestyle marketing because these commissions are so high, we can actually live amazing lives and then just market ourselves, brand ourselves, be completely transparent where we're not held down by just a product because that learning the skills and strategies of digital marketing actually gives us the ability to expand ourselves in other areas as well. Once you have built your team here and done your thing, um, you can obviously continue building it, but you can back off a whole lot and it gives you a lot of time if you want to go and invest in other things. If you want, if your dream is not um, doing this forever, if you have a bigger dream that you want to open up a restaurant or whatever, right? It gives you the, the financial means to do so without having that burden of are things going to work out? It offers so many more opportunities for your vision to manifest because essentially a lot of the times our dreams are not just this, but it's a great vehicle to get us there. And I promise you the product is one of those types of products that every single pe every single person, man, woman, child, animal needs to have um, and should have inside their home. So it's not something that's just for a specific niche. It's for everybody. And that's what makes why I love this comp plan and the product so much because it's for everybody, everybody. It's, it, it's a, it's a no brainer. The time, uh, the time freedoms there, the, the, money, the financial freedoms there, and the high impact, being able to impact people's lives and actually change their lives where they can leave their jobs um, and start living a life of true abundance and living their dreams, like actually living their dreams and not just faking it online. Um, yeah, let's end it back on this, as I love to. Our world now more than ever needs as many compassionate, creative, big hearted, conscious people to be as rich as possible. So you can turn this mother around, right? What vehicle are you taking to get to your dreams, to get to where your vision is? Um, if you are inside the marketing, digital marketing, marketing, whatever, I highly encourage people. You don't have to go and sign up for my business. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't matter to me. I have, I'm, I'm building mine. You can build yours. Um, and go and look, go and look for these hybrid models. Um, for me, this is the best one I found. I'm super active in checking out um, comp plans. This is the one I will stick with forever. It's been around for 45 years. I know it's not going anywhere. So um, if you do want to learn more about it, feel free to um, reach out to me. But I do encourage people, do your research, get yourself educated. This is a business, right? It's very competitive in the online space now and low ticket commissions just are not cutting it in the online space. If you want to do it organically and do it um, like word of mouth, doing it at home, whatever. Um, that's one thing, but in the online space, it's, there's no competition. There's no competition. You got to have the right margins there. And if you want to have massive dreams and to have those things, those dreams manifest, you need to have the right vehicles to get you there, right vehicle to get you there. Oh, I need some water. Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys at that. I always, um, thank you so much for taking the time for listening and, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Take care, everybody. Uh -huh.